Hi, I'm Naomi Simpson. I'm the co-founder of The Big Red Group and the founder of Red Balloon. Part of that is about choosing a lifestyle. Well, they think they want a lifestyle and starting a business is going to provide that. But it's also about freedom. It's about being able to do what you love, where you want to do it, when you want to do it. So um, I'm excited that more women than men start businesses, but also they're older than you would expect. It's older women who are starting business and making them a success. There's actually never been a more challenging time to be in business, but nor a more exciting time. The hardest thing for women, and well actually all business owners right now, is finding and keeping customers. I don't think really gender is an issue for the starting, but the scaling is another issue. I really tried to understand why more women don't run bigger businesses, why they don't scale them. And I think that there is a point where they achieve everything they wanted to achieve. And so pushing the dream out, pushing the vision out, if they can't feel they can control everything, they might limit it to what they can see right before them. I'm making mass generalizations and I'm sure everybody's got some research to prove me wrong, but I would like to see more women running bigger enterprises. I think there is a massive shift in terms of how our Australian community can be global from anywhere. As far as I'm concerned, time is money. And if I'm sitting there looking at a little wheel, that's not exactly helpful. And that's what it was like in 2001 when I started my business at home. And now we have a circumstance where it doesn't matter where you are, you can connect and that is truly exciting. One of the greatest concerns I have is that apparently more than 50% of women in New South Wales earn less than $38,000 a year. And in so doing, it's often the melding between being a parent, rushing around, picking up kids and trying to be everything to everyone. So being self-employed, starting your own business, whatever that looks like, could give you the freedom, the freedom to choose where you spend your time. The world has changed since I started my business and I'm often asked the question, what would you do differently? But the fundamental of business stays the same. It's all about relationship, customers, partners, suppliers, and your team. If you wanna grow your business, you can't do it on your own. You have to find a like-minded team with a shared sense of purpose and clear values. There's things that I would do differently if I was to start my business again. One is I'd breathe a little more and make sure I kept myself really fit because you have to look after yourself and nurture yourself to be able to grow a business. I would take more time to reflect on what are the important decisions I need to make to grow and scale my business. The most rewarding part of my career is the five million customers we've delivered to other small businesses. We're the marketing arm on behalf of small business experiences, on behalf of small businesses, on behalf of experience companies, which are mainly small businesses. So when I can just deliver customer over and over and over again, I know that I've shared wealth, I know that because of that, they'll have a great Christmas and I'm supporting communities. It doesn't matter where they are. More than anything, we need leadership. We need strong leadership. For me, great leaders, they meld their actions, their words and their belief. And it comes together and they share that with others and they bring them on their journey. Right now, Australia needs to be competitive. We need to buy Australian. When people are looking at what is competition, my real competition is coming from outside these borders. It's a buy Australian time. Really, we must support each other. Small businesses supporting small businesses in Australia. There's no such thing as an overnight success. It takes lots of hard work and most people really don't want to hear that. But there are certain traits that it takes to be an entrepreneur, but also you need to be able to pick a trend. 
all of the passion, purpose, persistence and positivity in the world will not make you successful if nobody wants to buy your product. And the world is changing. Being able to see where there's disruption opportunities, the business that nobody else wants to deal in, that's where true greatness lies. Now remember, to start a business, you gotta make money. That's how our system works. So just because you've had an idea doesn't mean that you're meant to be the entrepreneur. It's in fact why I wrote my book, Ready to Soar. Because Ready to Soar takes people on a journey of, is this the life for you? It can be really lonely. And if there's one thing I think we need more than anything is how do we connect small businesses and in rural communities to come together, to be able to feel like they're part of a community and serving the greater good. 